what do we have here? Well, we see something that's about two centimeters in diameter. It looks firm, it looks white. It looks like it's surrounded by something a little bit uh, softer and more hemorrhagic. What could this be? Well, here it is microscopically. And I think you could see the softer area along the edge here. And I, could, I think you could see that the central area looks very, very, very hyalinized. Perhaps old fibrous tissue. Uh, it looks like there's really no uh, tissue delineation in it whatsoever. It looks like it may have some very dense fibrous tissue along the edge. The whole structure is kind of a hyalinized uh, uh, fibrotic structure. And at the periphery, I think we could recognize some lung tissue. I think we could recognize some lymphoid aggregates in the interface between the softer, spongier, aerated lung tissue and this firm, hyalinized, fibrous nodule. This is a healed granuloma. Healed granulomas are granulomas which may have been active many years ago, but have since scarred down uh, as many chronic inflammatory processes do eventually. Perhaps they can even calcify. And now they are no longer active. Uh, there's a history that uh, this person had had tuberculosis, but if you were to take this healed granuloma and culture it, it is not very likely you would ever culture any organisms from here because this is uh, inactive and scarred. This is a classical uh, healed granuloma. And what else can we say about it? Uh, there's a, somebody drew a nice little word there that says lung. And the rest of this is just a healed granuloma. Thank you.